solve this equation, uh, the simultaneous equation. So you got x is equal to 3y minus 5 and 3y plus 5x is equal to 11. So there are different ways of solving this simultaneous equation. One is elimination, substitution, and graphical method. So I think we can use the substitution method here. So I can see a 3y here, and I also can see a 3y. So my question is, can we write both this equation in terms of 3y? So let me write the first equation again. So I can, can I say x, or let me write this like this. This I'm going to write, the first equation. Can I write 3y minus 5 is equal to x? Okay, so well, I want to get rid of this minus 5, so the opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So if you add 5 to this side, you'd add 5 to this side. Okay, so this is, this and this gets cancelled. 3y is equal to x plus 5. Say so I'll call this say, result A. This is result A. Let me write this equation again in this side. Can I say 3y plus 5x is equal to 11? I want to write this as 3y, so I'm going to take away, let me use a different color. If I take away 5x from this side, the opposite of plus 5x is minus 5x, you have to take away 5x from this side. Okay, so here yeah, this and this gets cancelled. So this and this gets cancelled. So you've got 3y is equal to 11 minus 5x. Say I'm calling this result B. I want you to use your reasoning brain or your thinking cap and see what has happened in equation A and equation B. So equation A we are saying 3y is something x plus 5 and equation B we are saying 3y is 11 minus 5x. So this equation A is in terms of 3y, equation B is also in terms of 3y. Therefore, you can say from A and B, from A and B, I can say this is equal to this. So I can say x plus 5 is equal to 11 minus 5x. Now, my next step is, I'll do one step at a time. I want to bring the x's on the left-hand side and the numbers on the right-hand side. So let me do first the x's. So I want to get rid of this minus 5x on this side. So the opposite of minus 5x is plus 5x. And so if you add 5x to this side, you'd add 5x to this side. So let us make two sides. These are the two sides. So this and this gets cancelled. So what have we got? x plus 5x is 6x plus 5 is equal to 11. Now we have got this number on the left hand side. So I have to take away 5 from this side. So I have to take away 5 from this side. One step at a time. So this and this gets cancelled. 6x is equal to 6. 11 take away 5 is 6. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So 6x divided by 6 is equal to 6 divided by 6, which implies x is equal to 1. And this method is called the substitution method. We have substituted 3y as something and 3y as something, and then we are comparing. So we know now y is equal to, sorry, x is equal to 1. So we can put this equation back into one of the equation. So what have we got? So we have got, we can write this equation A. So let's write equation A. So what have we said in equation A? 3y is x plus, is x plus 5. I've just written equation A again. This is nothing but equation A. So I can put 1 in place of x. So 3y is equal to 1 plus 5. So 3y is equal to 6. 3y is equal to 6. So what should I do to both sides? You are dividing both sides by 
3. So the 3 y by 3 is equal to 6 divided by 3. So y is equal to 2. So you got two answers. Uh, you got one solution. X is 1 and y is 2. Let us put this back. So let us check our answer. We have got x is 1 and y is 2. Does the answer make sense? x, y is equal to 2, sorry. So the first equation is 1. So x is 1 is 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5 is 1. So this is right. And if you put 1 and 2 into this, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5 times 1 is 5, which is 11. So this equation is also right. In other words, these two values, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2, it satisfies both these equations. That is what it means by solving simultaneous equation. Okay, let us do one more question. Let us do it fast. So yeah, you got, I can see it wide 4 y here. I can see it 2 y, 2 y here. So let me write this equation 4 y plus 1 is equal to x. The same thing is this. I'm going to take away 1 from both sides. So 4y is equal to x minus 1. This is equation A. Okay. Now this I'm going to write first again as it is. So 2y minus 3x is equal to negative 23 is equal to negative 23. Now, I want to make this 2y into 4y. So I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 2. Okay, so, multi so let me write it here. I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 2. Okay, that means 2y times 2 is 4y minus 3x times 2 is 6x. Is equal to minus 46. So I can add 6x to both sides. So let me use a different color. So if you add 6x to this side, you have to add 6x to this side. So these are the two sides of the equation. So I can write 4y is equal to 4 minus, or let me write this can I write this is 6x minus 46. This is equation B. So now use your thinking cap. 4y is 6x minus 46 and 4y is x minus 1. Therefore from 1 and 2, let me scroll up, therefore from A and B I can say 6x minus 46 is equal to x minus 1. So what should I do? I want to bring the x's to the left hand side and the numbers on the right hand side. So I don't want this x here. So I'm taking away x from this side. So to take away x from this side. I don't want this negative 46 here. So I'm adding 46 to this side. 46 to this side. So this becomes, so what gets cancelled here? Minus plus x and minus x gets cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. So this is 6x minus x, which is 5x is equal to minus 1 plus 46, the same as 46 minus 1, which is 45. So 5 times x is 45. So I hope you understand x has to be 9 because 5 times 9 is 45. So I can put to get the value of y. So let me do it here. I can use one of the equations. So let me use the simple equation. 4y is equal to x minus 1. So I'm going to put this in this equation. So I can say 4y is 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8, which is equal to 8. So what should I do? I'm going to divide both sides. So let me rewrite 4y is equal to 8. So use your common sense y is equal to 2. So x is 9 and y is equal to 2. So uh, this is how you can do it graphically. Okay.